I guess I can't let things go either. Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. His name is Baul, and he's not a monster. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. He's a strange one. Well, shall we have a look around the town? We also need to have a look at the Blastia that went berserk last time. Now that we have a goal and a destination, I'm so excited about continuing our journey. This is a lot bigger than when we were just escaping the capital and chasing after Flynn. We're out to find a mysterious talking monster. And to get over to Desier, we'll need to cross the sea again. I think the sands of Kagor will be a hot and harsh environment too. Still, I can't help but be excited that I get to continue my journey. New landscapes we've never seen are waiting for us just past the horizon. Well, just don't forget what we're out here for. I know. It seems like the area has returned to normal. Yeah, doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Miss Estelle! How have you been? Who is this? We helped these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Where's your father? I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. Sounds like that rumor might be true. Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. Huh? That doesn't sound quite right. What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Kumor gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as noble. 
Humor. From the Imperial? Yes. He is acting as the current magistrate of the city. I'll bet he is. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial throne is empty and all. But then... Then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? Is father not coming back? Hey, Yuri. You're gonna ask me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. Well, okay, that's fine. What? But I... So this means our next job is finding a missing person. And if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around till he stops. Right. The Knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. Let's just make sure we're careful. The Knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. As you wish. We'll find your father, I promise. Just wait right here. Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's go find... There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off-limits. I wonder if there's some way we could get in. Careful, guys! Remember?